Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I wanted to show you a few collections that we got in today. We weren't supposed to get this package until we got back. <laughs> it came early, so we had to scrounge around today and try to find a table to put back in here. And and I apologize if it's echoing in here. I'm sorry. We we everything is out except my two desks and uh, i'm still working with those or they would be out of here too i had to grab them in and tell them don't take my desk out so it is a little bit echoey because i'm basically in an empty building right now <laughs> other than my desk and i apologize for the echo but um i'm trying to keep my mic pretty close so i don't have to talk real loud and then my husband did put a few little towels and things around me hoping hoping that that would work some so i hope it's not too aggravating for you but i did want to show you these since we got them in and i'm hoping that they're going to go out real quick if you order any of these we are shipping through monday but after monday we won't be able to ship anything until we get back we're coming back on the 31st so make sure that if you want any of these you order this weekend so that we can get your order out to you we're trying to uh, ship the same day same time that you order so just make sure of that okay so this first one is from 49 in market and it's called vintage artistry colors sky so it's a sky mini collection it's a 12 by 12 very good quality paper and they always put a paper on the back too they don't just uh, put the paper on the front and leave the cover blank like some do but so i think this is so pretty it just looks just like a watercolor and it's got the stitching on there and i know with this camera you may not be able to see it but it's very pretty front and back it's just a watercolor effect so if that's what you like this is a nice collection i had to keep me one out so this one is mine isn't that pretty this will make a wonderful mini album it will make a good journal cover but now these pages are too thick to make your journal inside pages out of but it would make a beautiful journal cover okay this one isn't that pretty I just love it visitors are welcome <laughs> I love that and this it looks like it's had some tape here and you know where they've taped the canvas or something so and then this one isn't that pretty gorgeous look at that that is unbelievably beautiful right there I love it and then these are the cutouts, and I'm going to be very careful. I don't want these to fall out. But these are already die cut. All you have to do is just punch them out. Look at those butterflies and all the stamps. This lace down here, that just looks real, doesn't it? Look at that. Look at that lace. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to lay that over there real easy. And then this is also a die cut sheet. Let me flip it over. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And look at that lace. And it is paper, but it looks just like real lace. All right, I'm going to lay that down there. So that is that collection. And I'm going to put, let me grab this bag. I know this is crinkling everybody doesn't like but I want to make sure that I put something under there just in case any of those fall out that I don't lose them because they're punched very very well and I don't want to lose any of them okay so we'll put that right there and then I'll flip this back over so that we can see the front of it so this one again is 49 in market sky mini collection so these are already in the shop you can look under 49 and market or under new product i do believe is the way that melina put them in there okay now this one is called uh, it's from stamparia and it's called romantic collection and look at this i will use all of this on the front of here i love it and this these flip open like this so look at all of these words that you can use 
That is gorgeous, is it not? Oh my goodness, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I love Stamperia paper. Look at that. Of course, you know, I'm a paperaholic anyway, but I don't know. When I find collections that I really like, I like the quality of it. It's not quite as thick as some, but it's thick enough that you could use it for just about anything. Look at this. That brick wall. Look. And that is so pretty. That'd make a beautiful card. Just cut that out and put it on the card. Love it. Or you could even color these with some watercolor or something like that if you if you can color really well. Not me. Oops. Oh, that was that bag was stuck to it. And then this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it with just that word. And it it's got a um clothespin on it. Looks like it's clipped there. And there's that one. And look around the edges, how it's got that book page around the edges. This, look at that. Look at that flower. That looks so real. I don't know. Ever who does their drawing or their photos or whatever for them is absolutely amazing. I like that rust effect in there. And then look at that. And this is a nice pack too. It looks like you've got layered layers of paper here. Um, this is nice. It looks like it's got quite a few sheets in here. I'll tell you how many in just a minute. And then here again, you've got the staggered pages or torn pages. That big clock there. That one. They are lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at that. That looks like a big, um, you know, mirror or something was laying there and it rusted a little bit. These you could fussy cut out and use. Which are so pretty. That. And then that one. Look at that. Those would be beautiful journal cards. And look at the back. You could write on that back so you wouldn't even have to cover the back with anything. And that. These are your little fussy cut pieces. Fussy cut all of those out and use them. And then the back of the paper. Again, this one is called a Romantic Collection. It's 10 double-sided uh, double-faced sheets, so, but it's double-sided as you've seen. And it's 190 GR acid-free 12 by 12. So that is Stamperia Romantic Collection. I will link all of these oops, I will link all of these below. So if you um, are looking for them you can just click on the links and then if you know if something happens and I forget a link you can just click on new product or just Stamperia whatever you're looking for and it, it'll take you right in there and you can see all of them okay one correction on this one this one is called romantic collection journal journal okay because we've got one here that's romantic collection threads so there this one is journal this one is threads so I just wanted to clear that one up. I forgot to say that. Now look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Very seldom do they come out one with one that has threads and needles and all of that in it. And those, there's our, our little scissors that we sell, the little stork scissors. Oh, I love it. Look at that. This is amazing. Look. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to use this one. I've got so much crafting to do. I'm <laughs> I will never get it done in a million years. Oh, look at all these spools and needles and thread and the dress form. So pretty. Look. Look at that. There's those stork scissors, the sewing machine, the bobbins, the needle threader, straight pins, buttons. All kinds of things. 
I've not seen a collection like this in a long, long time. Love is the thread that binds us. That is so cute. And look at that. That would be beautiful just framed and put up on your wall. You wouldn't have to do anything else to it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I'm seeing these for the first time. I guess you can tell. That's so pretty. Like I said, they weren't supposed to be here until after we got back. But the company went ahead and shipped them even though I told them not to. So we got them early. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. It's so pretty. And then all of those tape measures on there. I needed a piece of that the other day, didn't I? Look at that. When I was doing the um, Marguerite Miller challenge, it asked for a uh, measure, tape measure, something like that. So <laughs> I needed a piece of that. But look at these buttons and things. Oh, I'm, I'm in love with these collections that came in today. I'm telling you, I want to stay home now and craft, but I need to go. I want to go to the convention, but I also want to stay home and craft. I want to craft and go to the convention. Can I do that? I can take some things with me, I'm sure. Look at that. Maybe I can do both. My husband says, you only have so much room in the car, so you can't take everything. <laughs> but I would if I could. Look how cute. <sighs> Chicopee Grand Bazaar. Oh, my goodness. I wonder if that was a real place. Hmm. I may have to try to look that up and see. Dealer in foreign and domestic. Look at that. So, so pretty. Mm, love it. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. And then that's the back. So this one, again, is the Stamperia Romantic Collection, but this one is called Threads. Okay, and then we got in some new vellum. This is called Late Afternoon by Amy Tangerine, and this has the gold foiling in it. I know it's probably going to blind you, but I'm going to try to hold it. Where you can see there you go you can see that gold foiling in there these can be cut apart and used just pieces at a time you don't have to use the full sheet this one is called marigold and it is by maggie holmes so look at this oh let me see if i can get the glare off of it just a little bit there you can see the gold foiling the gold leaves isn't that pretty so that one and then oh, I've already shown you that one so we don't have to show you that one then we got in more of the nature lover these are from Prima but this one has 38 count this is the die cuts now the one that we had before didn't have this many so I'm thinking this is a different one that we got in even though it was the same number that I ordered I'm thinking this may be a different one but it's got all of the butterflies and all the pieces in it like that other one did so we've got more of those in because those were out of stock now I did pick up a few of these I didn't pick up a lot because I didn't know how these would go over but I have tried one on a little journal that I was doing over here and I loved it so now my daughter Melina did not like them she said they look cheesy but when you get it down on top of that collection they don't look so cheesy this is stickers and they're um vellum stickers is what they are so let's see if i can hold up something to so you can see they're vellum stickers and these look beautiful on tags i saw a, a little demo for one on the where i ordered them on our uh, on our website where we order from a lot of times they'll have a little demo of how they're used and i saw a demo and she was using these on tags and they were absolutely gorgeous but they're made of vellum it's got the little dragonflies right there two of those 
So we have a few of these in. Like I said, I didn't get a lot because I didn't really know how they would go over. But I went ahead and picked up a few of those. I think 10 of one and 8 of another, something like that. So if you want those, you can grab those. Now everyone has been asking, and I'm, I'm sorry about the glare there. Everyone has been asking about blue fern and where is blue fern? Why are you not carrying blue fern anymore? Well, I get blue fern just as fast as they get the new collections in. <laughs> but they haven't had a real new one in a little while. So I was kind of waiting around until they got some really new ones that I, that I liked. And that I thought you guys would like. So this one is called Compositions by blue fern it's that nice quality paper so i'm going to flip through these we've got these busted up into sets of 10 uh let's see it's a 10 pack of 12 by 12 um i think that's the way both of them are both collections i've got another collection to show you so that's composition look at that and this you hear that's a really good quality paper. You put, you can use this on the cover of a mini album without even using chipboard or anything, and that's not going anywhere. Isn't that pretty? I have used it for my mini album covers before. Look at that. Or a journal cover. You can put that on a journal cover. Look. Isn't that gorgeous? Just trim off the top and use that for tags. Trim off the bottom and use that for tags. And that can be your cover right there. Absolutely beautiful. You wouldn't even have to use anything else in there. No chipboard or anything. You could if you wanted to, of course, but you wouldn't have to. Oh, sorry. Let's show the inside. This is the what they call the back side. And then there is the other side. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the lace vintage lace that they've got running through there and then all the uh, words and things absolutely beautiful there they never disappoint and this one I'm pretty sure was created by Michelle Singh she is their one of their artists look at that all of these that you can cut out yes this was created by Michelle Singh look at that isn't that gorgeous you don't take a photograph, you make it. <laughs> Every picture tells a story. That's the truth. Okay. Then this one, and I told Melina when we were separating them, I said, oh, I don't know about that one. I'm not too crazy about it. And she said, oh, Mama, I love it. She said, I can just imagine all kinds of things on there. But look at that. Isn't that cute? And they always have this barcode at the bottom where you can cut that off and use that too. It's usually solid on the back, so you can use that as well. None of their paper is wasted. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now, I liked this one, and Melina did. <laughs> she said, I'm not crazy about that. I said, oh, I love that. That would look beautiful on the front of an album. So pretty. And then she loved this side, which I like that side, too. That old, torn, ragged uh, sheet of book page. And then all of these little flowers and things just kind of merged on there. Very pretty. And then that lace in the background. And then this one. And this one looks like that they put everything down and then they took a, a brush, just a dry brush, and dipped it in some white paint and just smeared it around. It's so unique. Very unique. And I know, I'm sorry, my camera doesn't do close-up shots good, but hopefully... When I get back, we'll have one that will. We have You guys have been so sweet to go to that link below and, and clicked on that Buy Me a Coffee and donated a, little, a few dollars here and there to help us get toward our goal of buying us a new video camera and supporting our YouTube channel, and we really appreciate that. Because we buy all of our own products to create these videos we don't have the products are not donated to us we buy them or I buy them from my store and uh, you know what I use from you guys is of course given to me but everything else we purchase so but look at that so pretty and then there's that love it and then look at this one this one, I like both sides the same. I don't know how I would be able to cut one of them up. Oh, beautiful. This one, again, looks like it's got a, a dry brush on it. 
<clears throat> and that, look at that. It's just gorgeous. And then this one, Melina wasn't too crazy about, but I said, oh my, I can envision cutting these out and these can be belly bands in your journals. I, I can just see that in my head. You, I mean, you'd have to cut them in half. It'd be kind of tall to use the whole thing, but you could cut them in half or even, even fold them over and have a double belly band. Oh, there's lots of things I could do with that. And that side is beautiful. That looks like spring, doesn't it? Okay, that one again, and let me put it back together here. That one is Compositions, and it is in, we do have it also in the 8x8. I'm trying not to get all the glare on there. We have it in the 8x8, and the 8x8 has 20 double sided designer pages in it. And then we also have it, the uh, journal pack. Uh, embellishment kit it has 24 pages in it and it has all of these journal packs it has the the tags the cutouts all different things in here so that's a ton of journaling cards and things it has even the little side tuck pockets little tags all different kinds of things on there so we have all of that that goes with compositions Right now we also have this collection and this is my favorite of the two. I love the other one but I love 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 this one because it's got birds on it and butterflies and flowers so what more could you ask. This one is called Bird Waltz. So this is beautiful again. And this one was designed by Jen Bishop. So this is absolutely beautiful. Look at that gorgeous now we have I think 18 packs of each of these so but you know how quick they go they go in a hurry look at this old lace put in there and then just all of this other just merged in there together she does such beautiful work when it comes to collaging look at that birdie darling <laughs> I love it love, love, love it okay and then this one, see, there's my butterflies. So I've got my birds, my butterflies, and my flowers. So I'm happy. Gorgeous. It looks like that's cracked there. That's so pretty. And then here's the dragonflies. I like them too. More lace, just hints of lace here and there. Isn't that pretty? And then here you have this side. So you guys are going to have to grab this one up or I'm just going to take it all off the website and use it all myself. That is gorgeous. I would use that just like that. <sighs> Look at this. See, I want it all. That's my problem. And I can't buy it all. <laughs> I can't buy it all for me. So pretty. Look at this bird. That is my fellow right there. He's so cute. He's real feathery and it's, it looks 3D. She did such a good job on that. And then this lace going through and all the different pieces here. You just you can sit and look and just see tons and tons of things that are just kind of one layer right on top of the other. All It looks like you're looking down through the paper. It's amazing. Jen, you did a wonderful job on this. Look at that. I love all those cracks. And then there. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Ooh, I feel like I've got two sheets, but I've just got one. That dragonfly. And these flowers are beautiful. I would probably fussy cut those out and use them on the front of my journal. Love it. And then there's the back side. I know that I'm trying to get all of them in the shot, but it's a little bit hard. These are 12 by 12s and they fill up the, the camera. Look at that. So when we get back, we will be creating with these. But if you guys buy these and do some creating with them, I want to see them on the group because I'm still going to have access to the group. So I'll still be able to look, see what all you guys are up to. So pretty. 
and this. Look at all these cards that you have. Make each day your masterpiece. And then there's the back of that. Okay, so that is, again, it's called Bird Waltz. And then we have the bits and pieces for this one. This one didn't have an eight by eight, but we have the bits and pieces. I think it's what this is called. No, bits and bobs. I'm sorry, this one, this is called bits and bobs. And it's got all kind of tags and butterflies and flowers. And these are already cut, most all of them. And then it's got journaling cards and there's more tags and little circles and more flowers, more butterflies, just birds, all kinds of things on there. It's to see bits and bobs. They're four by six sheets. So, you know, you would need to cut this out if you're going to use it and this out for a little tag and that out. But each sheet has all different kinds of things on there. So that again is bird waltz. And I think that is all. Let me look. Yes, that is all new that we got in today. And like I said, I would love to move these real, real quick so that we can get these shipped out before we're gone. If not, we'll have to store them away in our storage room until we get back. But if you want some of these, grab them really quick. And we will have the links below, so don't forget to check those out. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.